Okay, you two. <coughs> Here we go. Once again, more for your eyes again. Just driving through my little home town. A paddy. See the uh, flags are up for <coughs> a D Day or the celebration of D Day. And every year we have uh, an event in Paddy. Well, it's been the last couple of years. Uh, Paddy on Parade. <coughs> I think it's 29th of June. And it's the. Uh, yeah, what it is, people get dressed up and they have dancers in, you know. Da, 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 you know that sort of dancing. Uh, at night, you know. Uh, there's a uh, D mob there. And uh, we have some old vehicles, you know, come to time. It's just a general good celebration day. Paddy Mon Parade. It's, it's what we do in Paddy, you know, we celebrate things. Excuse me for coughing, I've got a bit of a tickly cough. Where are we going today? Well, I haven't got a clue just yet. I'm going to make it up as I go along. I will stop because there's one thing worrying me at the moment. And it, <laughs> it just doesn't feel right. <laughs> I've got to say, it might be a Morphe cock up. Along with the rest of the Morphe cock ups. As you know, I put a new uh, back tyre on this bike because I uh, got a puncture that day when I went to um, Malham and I got the screw in it. Nail, should I say. It one of them tacks that you uh, tie back electrical cable where you know they have the plastic clip on. It one of them. How oh, it didn't punch you, I'll never know. I'll, I'll never know why it didn't punch you that day, but it didn't. But as soon as I got home and I took the nail out, it went down. So with the amount of tread that were left on the uh, tyre, I decided to replace the tyre. Uh, I got a pair, as you do, well, as I do, I got a pair. I uh, can't remember the name, it begins with H, it's a German make, I've put it up already before on my vlogs. And uh, <coughs> it looks a decent tyre actually, a bit, you know, a bit hard riding. I've got 4,000 mile life that back tyre. Well, just short. Just short of 4,000. It was alright, you know, I had a bit of fun with it. And I said it at the time, we're having that much fun on them nobblies that when I replace them, I'd replace them with the same ones. I know I said that. But I didn't. I've replaced and I've got, as I say, I've got the front, but I haven't put it on yet. It might have to go on, even though there's a lot of tread left on this uh, tire I've got on at the moment. I'll show you, I will stop and show you. So you might say, what are you worried about? Well, I'll tell you what I'm, <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm worried about. <laughs> the back tire is only as wide as the front tyre. <laughs> I measured them this morning before I set off, just for peace of mind, because I knew it were it was the same width. <laughs> the uh, tyre I took off with an off-road profile, a, a wide, you know, a wide back tyre. And the tyre I put on is a more road-going profile, with off-road capabilities but the tyre is very narrow <laughs> oh, it just honestly it just 
I know it's a new tyre and I know it'll need running in but it just doesn't feel right <laughs> oh what am I like why do I do these things I don't know why didn't I just change the pair at the same time oh why didn't I just get the same as I had I don't know I don't know Eugene I wouldn't be more if I did <laughs> <laughs> oh, this morning, having a shave, I've cut my chin, bloody razor blade, right in, not my chin, just under my chin. I have one of them uh, pens, you know, then uh, there's a name for them, isn't there? Lip still or something. I can't remember the name, can't remember much. And you, you wet it and you, you hold it to it and it stings like hell but it stops it bleeding. But I cut myself that much, I need one ready. Uh, in fact I cut myself not long back and uh, right up the cheek, I have them uh, blades, you know what's got three or four blades in, Gillette Summit or other. The best a man can get, something like that. And uh, on that occasion, I'd, I'd been using it, it got a bit blunt, and I forgot I put a new blade in. So I got up that morning, I don't know where I'm going. Just looks like I've been down this road be, be, with you once before, but we'll go a different way when we get to the end of it. And uh, I dug it into my cheek. And I took a right big cheap chunk out of skin. Oh, that was a mess. And I had that bloody pen on it, trying to stop it bleeding, blood was pumping out. <coughs> Sprocket come in, said, let's have a look, let's have a look. So oh, you made a mess of that. I said, I know I have. She said, no, it's a right mess. I said, Bev, I know I have. She said, no, you've took a big chink, chunk out of skin. I can see right in, you've took a big chunk out. I said, Bev. I know I have, and, and saying things like that isn't helping. <laughs> uh, it's funny how you uh, repair though, isn't it? You know, you take a big chunk out like that, and uh, it comes back, and you can't see it. It's gone. I'll smash my face in a time. Whoa, 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 there, muskrat. Just dig in here. I'll get right in against curb. Well, into curb. Them little yellow flowers, aren't they, Bonner? Uh, Welsh poppies, you know, on us. They, they, they're like a... Well, there is no way, such thing as a weed. Everything that flowers is a flower, whether it be a weed or not. But they like it. If you want to uh, christen them with something, they are like a weed. They grow very readily if you spread the seeds about your garden. Come back in the summer, they have little seed pods on ends and you can uh, get the seeds, dry them out and just sprinkle them about and you'll have them little yellow flowers if you see any. Just be mindful where they've grown and just go back in autumn, get the seeds. Well it were a very uh, sunny morning, in fact I've got my sunglasses on, perhaps I shouldn't have put my sunglasses on. Perhaps I should have just put my uh, clear glasses on. Anyhow, it's what it is now. So uh, we've got Sabdim, Padium, we don't want to go back there. Ebe, New Church, we'll go that way. Barley, sorry, not Ebe. We've got Reed going back. So we'll nip across. To Bali. Good as place as any, innit? So, I'm just going to have a couple of hours out today because Sprocket might finish early and we've got a few jobs planned. We're going to do the garden. Well, we're going to nip down by uh, go to Dacklington, little uh, town next to us. Got a few jobs on down in Dacklington, so we're doing that first and then we're coming back and we're doing the garden. Sprocket's dad's coming tonight, it's Sprocket's birthday, Sprocket's birthday tomorrow, I need a card. I'll sort that out this morning. 
Alltså Amamo är där. Och var i Batre present. Så. Lats bort till bed. Och sticka det till henne mina kvar. Så har språket med det till morgon. As you know, we had his wedding anniversary last month, which was the 28th. We're lucky over this area, aren't we, you know, with, with roads we've got. You know, literally, literally, two minutes from the house and I'm here. And this bike's a cracking bike for these, well it were, <laughs> were it eight days on. Actually it don't feel like it, just, it's, it just feels funny. It feels proper funny, but a new tyre does, doesn't it? But when you see, you know, you get your back tyre and it's as wide as your front tyre, and you've been a road going motorcyclist all your life, it just don't hang right, does it? <laughs> It's the same as this back has 22 pound in front, 22 pound in back. And that just doesn't... I always either put 23 or 24 pound in back. Just for peace of mind. Really. Just doesn't feel right. So we've lost the sun altogether for a minute. What's all that about then? I've seen that van or something coming down here, so I'll be mindful of that. Some more of them there, uh, Welsh poppies. If I get a ride bit of road, but I'll just stop off back and just give you the quick... Uh, Look at them tyres and see what you think. Would you ride a bike <laughs> with the two tyres I've got on this bike? I intend to give it a little wallop today and see how it handles, you know. It's just strange, proper strange. Oh, they're cracking little roads, cracking little roads and cracking views. I know Burnley's got its problems and it's had its problems in the past, but people who've never been over this way just think it's an urban spread, you know, of industrial... flat cap and whip it sort of thing. You know, with factories strewn about. Well, what were? They? Well, there were, weren't there? We had a lot of factories, but they've all a lot of ones gone. A lot of industry, a lot of industry come back in. But yeah, Lucas's, Shepherd and Captain weaving with it. Michelin, Michelin tyres. Lupton in place is um, Foundry. So we've got Sabdin fence that way. New church. So we'll go up to oh we've we'll got to Sabdin. Hmm. I don't really wanna go to Iron Fence. Hmm. Right, we'll have a look up first. Yeah, you may think we live in just so close to this area, I'd, I'd probably know it, but it's not something I ride. You know, it really isn't. Went to roughly last time, so we'll go this way this time. These are the roads, you know, even, it's strange, isn't it? When you go down your doorstep, you 
Like I've got Yorkshire Dales, you know, just right corner at Lake Districts, and that's where I head, as you know. That's where I head for, because that is one beautiful area. But so is this. You know, it's stunning. Cracking little area down here. You know, little country roads like this. One of the guys who uh, I watch his videos is just, well, I'll tell you in a minute because what I'm going to do now, YouTube, I'm going to just get off back and show you tyres. And I want your honest opinion if you if you want to. Uh, that's the new bike, as you can see it's 4 inch, 4 inch that's the profile, more of a road going tyre, more round than flat, yeah, and this is, <laughs> this is the front, more off road going tyre, nobbler, but it's also 4 inch does it matter? does it matter? I don't know, does it matter? we'll find out what do you think YouTube? you tell me some do you experience on tyres does it matter? I don't know. Yeah, uh, going back to what I was saying. He lives in the area of uh, be uh, beautiful roads as well. And he's just been up Scotland. And he said on his last uh, vlog that he preferred the east coast of Scotland if he thought it was more beautiful. And I put a, just put a reply on uh, his page and you know, I said beauty's in the eye of the beholder. And everybody does think different and you know, full full marks if that's what it is. That's what it is. We don't all think same, you know, one thing I find beautiful, somebody else I mean I find round here stunning and you 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 know, people may not. And uh anyhow he says that uh he thought but um, the east course was a nicer uh, scenery than the west and I just put a reply, I did apple cross as you know if you followed me and I've asked him, well I've mentioned that uh, uh, on part 5 is apple cross and if you just had a look at that, it took my breath away did that place I was speechless. <laughs> Fox gloves, digitalis purpurea. Uh, they use that in uh, Fox glove digitalis. They use that in art medicine. Yeah, art, art medicine. Yeah, so um, new church in Pendle. Only my opinion, of course, you know, that's my opinion. Everybody's got that to an opinion, and that's my opinion that the uh, Apple Cross was stunning. Absolutely stunning. And I think I said, no wonder Scotland want to keep Scotland for the Scottish. That was absolutely breathtaking. I mean, this is breathtaking, don't get me wrong, you know, this is nice, lovely. I think every, everywhere it is, isn't it? Countryside. The countryside is absolutely beautiful, wherever you are, I think. 
rolling hills, green hills, woodland. Look at that place down there. And then you come across a row of cottages here. Look. Well, a couple of cottages. Not if it's a row of cottages as such. Several bins outside. So it's several uh, residences. More Welsh properties. Stone, is it? Obviously into masonry. Oh dear, we've lost that brilliant sunshine. It were warm this morning, me and Sprocket right back at his breakfast in the garden. Very nice. There's gardens uh, south facing, full south facing right back. Uh, when we went to get the house, I took a compass with me and uh, made sure. because the houses weren't built then and I uh, went along the avenue and I was the second person to buy a house on that uh, row and we had the pick of the rest of the houses yeah we're coming to the new church in fact me and Sprocket once looked at that house there many years ago so this is New Church. A little hamlet is New Church and there's a shop on the left as we're coming past. I'll point it out to you. Oh, there for sale. And it's there. Witches galore. And they used to have uh, a coin operated witch in the window. And you put your coins in, I can't remember how much it were and she used to cackle and move about because obviously this is known as it's Pendlewell, which, uh, which country, you know we've been through that where the Mistress Demdikes and Chattox and Alice Nutter look at that and I believe there's res uh, relations of Alice Nutter still living in the village back there Look at that YouTube! Absolutely bang on! So I just looked down there, I forgot about the tide and the back behaved alright so... <laughs> I might leave them on because as you saw there's loads of meat on that front tire. It's sacrilege to throw it away isn't it? <laughs> So here we go. That back tire is supposed to be hard wearing. We'll see. We'll see how hard wearing it is. Uh, if need be, I'll just buy another back tire because I've got the front. If uh, if this one lasts it out, it's doing quite well. Is the front tire on this bike? I've got to say, it was the back tire that had gone. Well, it hadn't all totally gone, but. Uh, had the punches as I say. I'll take you down to the car park here YouTube and just show you where you uh, there's a cafe on that. The reason why I'm going on to the car park if you come to this area. We're in Barley now, we've left New Church back there sorry and this is Barley and I'm in Barley here this is a car park you park on if you go want to go Pendlehill and uh, the cafe's there, the toilets are there. It's a nice little cafe actually, it gets really busy. Um, but people park the cars on here to walk up Pendlehill and there used to be, oh there still is, what's it say? It's a pound, pay here pound. It used to be a trust, a trust box that, you know, you put uh, whatever you wanted to put in it or nothing at all. Looks like they put it onto a pound now. 
the wheels of industry, the bin men. The bin men. Important job, very important is bins because if it what you know a few mates who have been men and people look down on the bin men as if it's like the backside of your body, you know. Well I'll tell you what it is. If that's the case as soon as you stop pooing be only a couple of days before it becomes the most important part of the, the body, I'll tell you that, so bear that one in mind. Every job is important. So you park your, your car on there, you come through a little bridge here. There, that little bridge, there's a little playground there. I just pull in here. I hate it when I get traffic behind me, come on. So you little playground there for little kids like. And the Barleymore restaurant. Hey, for sale. That's a big spread, isn't it? Wow, hey. Prime residential development. That's a, the restaurant there, Barleymore. Uh, it's a while since I like, walked up Pendle, that's why I'm taking it slow because I don't want to miss the turn off to show you where you go if you're walking up Pendle. Oh, that's the footpath there, see it YouTube. See that sign, that's the footpath there. Them stone chippings. And you can walk right up top of Pendle Hill on that footpath. So we're going to Dynam now. Oh, we've been to Dynam. Oh, did you go to Dynam that day? We went to Dynam and I lost the film. That was it, so you haven't been to Dynam. So that's the footpath. Pheasant. Lady Pheasant. That's the footpath if you want to walk up Pendle Hill. Put your car on that car park, I've just pointed it out. And off you pop. Look for that little uh, footpath sign. If you come this way and you fancy doing it, just follow them directions. Park your car on the car park. Come across that little uh, bridge. Follow the footpath past the playground. You walk past the Barley Moor to your right. Keep walking up the road. And the turn off is to your left. And it has that little wooden footpath sign. And the white chipping path. And from there... You walk somewhere before you get to the base of Pendle and then off you go up the Pendle But there's plenty of people who walk that way, you wouldn't get lost. Especially on a nice day. And when you come back the cafe will be open and uh, honestly it's a nice cafe, nice brew. And you, you, you have a proper, uh, well you can make a day of it actually. You know, you can have a good day walking up Pendle Hill. And the scenery when you get to the top of Pendle and you look if you get a clear day on a clear day. The scenery like you see it footpath there. But the camera won't pick it up on the far away. I keep forgetting the limitation of this camera. But there's a footpath on the side of hill. And uh, there's the other footpath. That's the one you want to go up on this steep bit here. And uh, me and Sprocket sat at the top of there till the uh, couple of years ago, took a flask. Uh, we had dogs with us, we won't make it now. I don't think our little Megan make it now, it's proper arduous for a little. I carried her up last time, I think. But it is a cracking view. Obviously you can get, must get to it some other way as well, because why would them cars be parking there? Maybe they walk from there up this side. Yeah, but that's the official route where I've just showed you. And that's the way I'd go. Clearly I've no heat of clothing, I've no heat of gloves. It's quite warm, I've got my summer boots on and my summer clover gloves. I've got a sprocket a pair of these gloves. Uh, just this small, these are medium what I've got on. 
honestly they are a proper comfy glove and uh, I have a pair of small in ice and sprocket it too small for her now they're a bit, just a bit too tight for me I'm going to have to stick them back on eBay and sell them they're pretty expensive lovelies you know uh, but I get them cheap, got them cheap well I don't get them cheap but I think I paid about uh, £28 for them as sprockets but they're right brand fire new Uh, we used to come down to Downham with kids to feed the ducks. There's a bridge down in Downham and a little stream runs through and it used to be full of ducks and kids used to uh, oh they used to love coming down here playing it water. Grand hill in it that a grand hill. Steep Dinistra, Cromwell, all sorts, Bonnie Prince Charles, and uh, of course, Brontes. Go for a pole in Paddy, which I will take you to. Well, I'll, I'll wait till I get there to tell you a tale. No point telling you a tale now, I'm not going to tell you twice. You have to work with bated breath for that one. <laughs> hey, look at that. I didn't go out the other day. I said on the last vlog I was going to go out, but uh, it was very, very windy. And uh, yeah, I just didn't fancy it. It weren't a day for trundling. This is the next available slot and we're out today because uh, this weekend has been given terrible forecast again after today and it's rain, rain, rain. Yep, British summer, flaming June. I was talking to my son over in Australia and he said, Dad, it's freezing over here, it's in the middle of winter. This is only Monday of this week, from Thursday night. Monday of this week. Dad, it's freezing all here, it's winter. I said, freezing? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, uh, nobody wants to go out, it's cold. I looked at the temperature gauge in my car. This is our summer, flaming June. And it was 15 centigrades. 15. I said, just out of curiosity, I said, what temperature is it over there at the minute? He said, 19. 19 <laughs> centigrade. And they're freezing. What's all that about? I suppose your body gets used to it, doesn't it? Can you see up there that barren land? This is where my memory goes. I copped a video out one day when I come out with you. And when I got back, it hadn't worked. Oh, it was that day it was raining. And uh, video, oh, some of that, some of that, and anyway. That land there is obviously been used for growing Christmas trees, look. And they've sort of obviously chopped it down and sold them, and they've probably replant. It's just full of Christmas trees. And further up, the woodland is still full of Christmas trees, obviously, this year's stock. But uh, they probably re replant and have a sustainable woodland, isn't it? They call it sustainable woodland. Right, I've eventually got my mirrors right. I'm happy with them now. And I'm quite, to be honest, quite happy with the tyre at the minute. I mean, I haven't pushed on yet. As I say, I'm still running it in. New tyre. Don't want to be. Uh, wee. It does <laughs> proper folding. It's proper agile. Proper agile. It's it's flip. It's. it's <laughs> Definitely flatter. Flatter, we'll go with flatter. 
Uh, we'll see how we're going with it. Like as I say, I can always take it, get it took off and put to new uh, 21 inch front on and uh, pair up. When we get to Dainham we'll decide where we're going from there YouTube. I don't know what time we set off. Sprocket's in work at the watch, which is if he's starting now, nine o'clock. I don't know what time she's finishing, she doesn't know herself. Um, depends what sort of work's in. And this is Downham. Get ice cream if you want it. And that's a little stream. And that's a little bridge. stream not so many ducks about maybe they don't come anymore used to be full of ducks and uh, people would come at weekend and during week midweek in summer and sit on that bench there and kids would play to stream there for hours and just, uh, just basically enjoy yourself You can't buy a house in Downham, I believe, and all these houses are by, owned by one man. And uh, all you can do is rent them. Beautiful place to live, of course. Somebody's going to have to move or somewhere to you because uh, where things are going. Well, it's village life, isn't it? No rush. The telephone box and this is a pub is it just up here down in post office there that's a pub Ashiton Arms Ashiton been in there a time or two with Sprocket uh, we, time or two we've been anyway kid before we got kids I think on a summer's night Eee, that's going back in it, 40 year. Huh. 40 year. Rimmington. And we go to Rimmington, or shall we carry on this way? We've had this before, haven't we? Sorry about that, mate. Gisborne. Chapman. Look at this way. Besides that all of them spray and chip. That's another thing what uh, made my mind up. You know my feelings on that, whatever they call it. Spray and chip, chip and spray, whatever it bloody called it. I don't know, spray and chip. Yeah. I thought there'd been a lot more midges out today and I've been getting splattered. I brought my cloth to wipe everything but uh, at the moment everything's uh, not too bad. Should be warmer than this though, shouldn't it? You know what I'm saying, it's not too bad but come on. Then that, that's probably some sort of deforestation from. Chapman. This is Chapman. Love our own three Chapman. Is this where that them two pubs are? There's one across the road from each other. I can't remember the name. Duke of Wellington. Is this it? Quite a lot of uh, cottages for sale, or to let. What's going on here then? Sold, sold, for sale. What oh, Duke of York's at Grindleton. That's about GQ office. 
brain cave. The brain cave. It's a dead end. Grindleton, I don't know. Oh, that one. Grindleton, GP Hall. <laughs> That's where that is. Well, uh, oh, I can't stop here. Stop here. We'll go back that way. I fancy going to Grindleton. And Grindleton eventually takes us out to um, that cafe. They're at it again, aren't they? They're at it again. Had my indicator on. That's it, we've had on the CRF, the Army Africa Twin. It's got uh, cancelling uh, indicators and they actually work. In fact, they work too good sometimes and they can knock themselves off before you turn the bloody corner. But they're a good bit of kit, but keep riding different bikes, as I say the own and the, and, uh, the indicators totally different range on a Honda to any other bike what the hell's all that about? so when I jump on the arm I've got to press the own, I'm pressing indicator and vice versa when I come off the arm onto one of these and I'm pressing the indicator, I'm pressing the bloody own Where I am with Marker. I'm going to carry on. <laughs> 